Okay, this will be a demonstration of using the revolve function to generate a non-regular cylindrical shape. It'll be a circular cross-section. Uh, if you wanted to get away from a circular cross-section into something else, you would use a, a different function for that. You'd use something like a two-rail sweep. But the revolve function is perfect for what we're going to do right now. So first I want to get the axis of the uh, the shape that I'm going to make. So I'm going to sketch, sketch horizontal, and draw a line. Next I'm going to generate the profile of this shape by using the spline tool. Well, let's grab interpolated. I'm going to start on the waist side of the, uh, the line. This will be erased before we make the revolve as you'll see. And just start generating A shape. Okay, cancel out of that. Now I want to get rid of these two hangover pieces. We use quick trim to do that. Trim and trim. Got rid of those. Okay. Now we we'll go to surfaces and revolve. In this case I want to use the pick axis function because I've got an axis drawn and I can just simply select it. I want a 360 degree revolve. Got that. Okay, so I want to left click on one end of the profile, shift left click on the other end of the profile, then click on the axis. And I forgot and did it wrong. So let's do that correctly this time. Surfaces, revolve, pick axis. I want a 360. Okay, now I click, shift click, so I've got my profile defined, and hit OK or the space bar. Now I can click on the axis, and there's my shape. Cancel out of that, and go back to a top view, and we'll say I want 4 by... 15. All right. To make the uh, cube shape for the block, I want 15 inches long. And I'm using just the solid here. You can you can do this a number of ways. In uh, Y, I want four. For Z, <coughs> this thing will select uh, Z zero as the top of surface on this thing, or the uh, origin point on this. Since that's halfway through the model here, as a front view will show you, there's zero. I want to start from there and go downward. So I'm going to say negative two. Easy enough. And I want to go bottom left. Go back to the top view here. Got all that entered. Hit OK. And there we go. So now I have two boolean solids. I've got the spindle shape, and I've got the mold. So to do a boolean subtract, you just select boolean subtract. The first thing you select, even if you have multiple shapes, the first thing you select is what you're going to keep. I'm going to keep that one, okay. And you simply select the next thing. In this case, there's only two. So the first thing I selected, I want to keep. The next thing I selected, or the next ten things I select, I want to get rid of. Once you've got everything done there, you just hit OK or the space bar, and it happens. Cancel out of that, and there you go. You have a cavity in that. Uh, there's a number of ways to get the holes in there. Probably, let's see, go back to top view. Since we're doing solids right now, let's go to arcs, and I uh, will sketch a quarter inch or so circle. Now I want four of these for locator pins for your mold. So let's uh, go to translate. I want to make a copy of this. I want this copy to be two inches away on the y-axis. All right, got that set. I select it, hit OK, and say OK on the translate. Now I've got this one. So that's one end of your 
mold done. I want to go 14 inches looks like for the next one. Zero out Y for X 14. And not really all that used to the uh, multiple selections. Okay, it kept all the uh, stuff I just entered. I select both of these and I'm going to get one copy of both of them 14 inches away on the Y or the X axis. Once I hit OK, and then OK in this, there you go. Now I want to turn these circles into solids. Right now they're just a couple or four circles sitting there on the, uh, the XY plane. So I'll go to Surfaces, Planar. One, two, three, four. Hit OK. I now have four little circular surfaces. Now I want to extrude those surfaces. So go up to Surfaces, Extrude Surface. The mold block here is two inches deep, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. So I want these guys to go minus three along normal. Go to a top view. Select all of them. OK. Now I've got these little fellows here. I want them to go a half inch up in the Y axis. So go to Translate. Don't need any more copies. Get rid of the X direction. I want them to go half an inch vertically upward. OK those. Now go to a front view to confirm that. There they are. Back to a top view. Now I want to just move them down, what, one, two, three, four inches. Zero that back out. I want a Y negative four. Okay, now I have this block with these solid dowels going through it. How do I get those to be holes? Well, another Boolean Subtract. Go to Boolean Subtract. What I want to keep is the block. I want to get rid of the four holes so they're the next in line to be selected. One, two, three, four. selection oddness there. Hit OK. And I've got holes in there. For some reason it's hanging on to those surfaces. Easiest way to get rid of those. Go back to a front. Simply select with the pick box and trash them. So there you go. You have a block with a uh, an irregular cylindrical depression in it, four locator pinholes, done and done.